Hi everyone, this is Ramalinga Prasad Kuppa. Welcome to my channel, Pharma World. Today's topic is the batch production record review as per section 6.7 of ICHQ7. Let us see what the prescription is. It says, written procedures should be established and followed for the review and approval of batch production and laboratory control records including packaging and labeling to determine compliance to the intermediate or APIs with established specifications before a batch is released or distributed. The batch production record or you can call it a BPR and the laboratory records have to be reviewed for compliance to the operating systems and relevant GMP. It should be carried out as per a detailed procedure. This SOP should have provision on the responsibilities of review by department concerned initially before submitting to quality units for approval. The review should be for compliance. Important point here is this review should be completed before the batch is released to the market. This is the prescription under section 6.70. Let us see more on this. Batch production and laboratory control records of critical process steps should be reviewed and approved by the quality units before an API batch is released or distributed. Production and laboratory control records of non-critical process steps can be reviewed by qualified production personnel or other units following procedures approved by the quality units. Read this statement carefully. The critical steps should be reviewed by quality units and approved if all the critical steps complied with the requirements. Here also the point that the review to check the compliance should be done before the batch is released to the market. Another important point to note is review of non-critical process steps. Then there is a query here. What is a non-critical step? So there should be a detailed list of critical steps and non-critical steps for each activity of the manufacturing. The procedure or the SOP should capture this point clearly. Also, the reviewer of non-critical points should be a qualified person from production or other unit. It, also, it is also necessary to describe how the qualified person is qualified and identified. Quality units should approve this procedure of qualifying the production or other unit personnel to be able to review the records for compliance. This is described in section 6.71. Let us see what section 6.72 says. All deviation, investigation and OAS reports should be reviewed as part of batch record review before the batch is released. All deviations, if any, investigations, if any, OS, if any, should be reviewed by quality units as these are critical for the product quality. This is the third time the statement that the review should be completed before the batch is released to the market. See how important point is this. So it should be noted that the review of the batch production record should be completed before the batch is released to the market. There is a relaxation in section 6.73. This section says the quality units can delegate to the production unit the responsibility and the authority to release the intermediates except for those shipped outside the control of the manufacturing company. 
So the quality units can delegate or assign the responsibility to production unit to release the intermediates except for those shipped outside the control of the manufacturing company. It means for internal consumption, production department may be delegated to release the intermediates for further processing, but these responsibilities should be designed by quality units clearly through a defined system to address this delegation to production department clearly. Let us see a typical scheme of BPR review flowchart. Check for each batch like this. Check the issue record of the batch and confirm that the BPR was issued by QA and there is no missing link in the sequence of BPRs issued. That means all the BPRs of earlier batch number are logged in the re issue register. Check that the start date and end date of the batch are recorded. The start date should, should not be before the issue date of the BPR by QA. Check whether or not the equipment used or identified with a tick mark or recording the equipment numbers as a separate record. Check the issue of raw materials. The date of issue should not be after the usage of raw materials for the stage. Check whether or not any necessary in-process sampling is done and results entered at appropriate places in the BPR. Check if any overwritings or check whether or not any corrections signed off and dated for any inadvertent error. Check that all steps are signed off as an objective evidence. Also check whether or not the checker or call a supervisor signed off all critical steps. Here one point to note is that there should be a detailed procedure on responsibilities of the witness staff on the process steps. Guidelines prescribes that critical steps should be witnessed. So the SOP should have many details to capture these responsibilities. This activity flowchart may be used for every batch. If the number of batches is too large, and time is the essence of the release of the batch. This system should be justified for limited checks of BPR and relevant laboratory records for large number of batches. Let us see the scheme for detailed checks. So for detailed checks, it may be for every 10 batches. Here also the point to note is that this scheme is easy for too large number of batches produced. Check whether or not preventive maintenance calibrations are, are valid during the production activity during that particular period. Check the training records whether or not the operator is trained to carry out that particular activity assigned at that time of production. Check in QC the validity of the standards used during the production of that particular batch. Check the availability of traceable standards for the in-house standards. Check uh, the approval of raw materials in QC. The approval date must be before the usage of the material in the production. Check the attendance record from the gate office or HR for the persons who carried out that activity, whether or not they were present during that particular operation. Check uh, for, a, for a close out of any IPQE observations made. Check for any other peripheral issues related to the GMP. This flowchart may be revised to suit your specific requirements. The basic concept may be taken from this. I hope that this content in this video is useful to redraft your BPR review SOP accordingly. Thanks for watching. For more videos, please do subscribe.
like and share thank you